What's up guys? Great morning and welcome to Nosy Rosie. So syempre, i-discuss natin ngayon yung ating pang-limang question from our main topic which is 10 most asked interview questions in the web. At ano yung question na yan? Marami kaming nakita sa mga forum and at the same time nakareceive kami ng mga messages when it comes to paano nga ba sinasagot yung tanong na to, Rosie, which is have you ever failed from the past? And how did you handle it? Eh, syempre kapag nakatanggap ka ng ganyan tanong mula sa interviewer, most likely, hindi mo alam kung ano sa tanong, eh, sasabihin mo. Diba? Kahit naman ako tanongin yan, at hindi naman talaga ako na-expose sa ganyang klase ng question, eh, malamang sa alam, ah, mahulog ako sa upuan ko. Sorry. Alam mo yun, nga nga. Hindi ko alam kung ano sasabihin ko, to be, to be honest. Well, don't worry guys, because in this video, we will discuss, bakit tinatanong mo ito mga interviewer? Is it because dahil gusto nila malaman, Ah, nag-fail na to from the past. Gusto ko malaman kung ano yun. We will discuss about that. Don't worry. And how to answer it. And we will give you a great structure na pwede mong i-memorize para yun na yung palagi mong gagawin every time na matatanong ka ng mga ganitong klase ng question. And of course, ano ba yung mga dapat na sinasabi during the interview? And we will give you everything about that after you watch this. At katulad na sinabi ko kanina, i-discuss natin kung bakit nga ba tinatanong ito ng interviewer. And at the same time, sasabihin din natin sa inyo kung paano ba ito yung sasagutin at, at, at ano yung mga dapat natin sabihin. So, bakit nga ba tinatanong ito ng interviewer, Rosie? Unang-una guys, it is because hindi nila gustong makita or malaman kung nag-fail ka from the past. And lahat naman ng tao, di ba, nagkakamali. Ibig sabihin, wala namang perfect. So, it only means to say na acceptable lang na mag-cite ka na, of course, na situation, experience, na nag-fail ka from the past. Ang gustong makita dito na interviewer is, paano ba niridin yung sarili mo? Kasi, syempre, every time naman nagagawa tayo ng mistakes, we should learn from it. Diba? And at, and at the same time, kung magkakamali tayo, um, alam natin kung ano yung mga dapat natin gawin next time. Hindi ba naman may perfect yung mga bagay eh? Um, agad-agad. Pero, we should learn from our from our own mistakes. Okay? So, yun yung reason kung bakit tinatanong ko ng mga interviewer uh, and at the same time, um, tinitignan rin nila kung maaalog ba yung self-confidence mo, kung ma 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 may pressure ka ba, ma stress ka ba at that moment. Kasi at the end of the day, guys, once na makuha ko sa trabaho na yan, for sure, 100% na makakaranas ka ng mga pressure moments, ma stress ka, um, darating ka sa mga point na hindi mo alam kung anong gagawin mo, pero kailangan mong mag-design. Kailangan mong mag-create ng sarili mong decision. And that is the reason why this question is being asked by the interviewer. Okay? And at the same time, sabi ko nga kanina, paano mo naman niya yung sasagutin? Dahil alam mo na at naiintindihan mo na kung bakit ito tinatanong mga interviewer, magkakaroon ka na ngayon ng idea and at the same time, lalong mabibuild yung confidence mo na, ah, kaya pala ito tinatanong kasi ito yung gusto nila malaman. So, hindi ka na ngayon masyadong kakabahan. At syempre, dahil alam mo na kung paano at bakit ito sinasabi or tinatanong ng mga interviewer, then kailangan mo rin malaman paano ito sinasabi. Hey! And katulad ng promise namin kanina sa inyo, bibigyan namin kayo ng isang structure na pwedeng-pwede mong i-memorize. Ito yung i-memorize mo, huwag yung sabon. Okay? So, bibigyan namin kayo ng isang structure. And this structure is what we called ear. Ear. Tenga. Pero, ear. E-A-R. So, ano ano yung mga yan, Rosie? Ear stands for experience, actions, results. O, di ba? Ang tandaan. Uli, isa pa. Experience, actions, results. So, katulad ng mga sinabi ko sa mga previous video, this time, guys, binigyan ko na kayo ng song structure na pwedeng-pwede nyo gamitin anytime. Without you memorizing the question or memorizing the answers, rather. Kesa, alam mo yun, paulit-ulit mo i-memorize yung sagot, minsan kasi nawawalan na siya ng value. Maga parang, hindi na siya masyadong ma-feel ma ng mga nag interview sa inyo na totoo ba yung sinasabi nito? Remember guys, tinitingnan na nila at nararamdaman na rin nila kung nagpapa-impress ka lang. At yan yung sabi ng isa sa mga HR na nakausap ko. So, going back to ear. Experience. Like what I have mentioned from the past, provide an experience wherein medyo mag-isipin mo maigi kung saan ka ba nag-fail from the past. Whatever it is. Let's say, 
kung wala kang experience school pwedeng during your your OJT gumagawa ka ng projects with your with your teammates or with your um, schoolmates pwede yon kung may experience ka naman eh di syempre tumingin ka or should i say mag-isip ka ng mga experience from the past na sa so tingin mo nag fail ka and then like what i've said earlier pag sinabi mo yung experience na yon do not forget to provide the A, which is the actions. Ano yung mga actions na ginawa mo in order for you to redeem yourself? Ano-ano yung mga plan or options na pinagpilian mo in order for you to make sure na mapapagtagumpayan mo yung failure na yun? So, ngayon pa lang, isipin mo na kung ano yung mga actions na ginawa mo. And later on, I will give you some examples. Okay? And of course, letter R, which is results. Katulad rin ang sinabi ko sa mga previous video, your result should be positive. At laging-lagi mong iisipin or lagi mong, um, lagi ka magbibigay ng smart. Yung smart is should be specific. Napaka-specific dapat ng yung result. And of course, kapag ka nagbigay ka ng result or end result, kailangan positive. Okay? So, just to give you an example, meron ako kasing na-encounter na isang um, nag nagtanong sa akin on how to answer this question. Ito daw yung question na tinanong sa kanya. Um... When he provided his answer, medyo tama naman yung sagot, guys. Walang maling sagot when it comes to uh, behavioral interview questions. But you have to make sure na yung sasabihin mo is specific. Is specific. Binigay niya sa akin is experience na medyo nag-mess up na yung attendance niya from the past. Tapos, um, na-reprimand daw siya. And from that particular mistake, um, natutunan niya na huwag dapat umabsent. Sabi ko nga, acceptable yung answer. Kaya lang, may mas maganda pang way kung paano siya i-deliver. So, himayin natin. Sabi niya, nagkaroon siya ng problema from the past, which is the attendance. So, sabi ko sa kanya, um, can you still think of other example na sa tingin mo medyo nag-fail ka from the past rather than highlighting na medyo may problema tayo sa attendance. Kasi guys, ang attendance, sa big deal niya sa trabaho. Hindi lang sa BPO, naku, lalo, lalo, lalo na sa BPO. Pero, of course, other industry or other um, company, big deal na big deal ang attendance. So, I suggest, um, kung yan yung naiisip mong isagot, um, think of something else. Kasi sigurado meron ka pang ibang experience apart from that. Alright? So, nag-isip siya ulit, and sabi niya, um, nagkaroon daw sila ng parang, nagkaroon ng scarcity, or should I say, medyo hindi nila nami-meet yung number of um, kailangan nila i-manufacture na product. So, ang nangyari, um, napagalitan siya ng boss niya kasi medyo nag-slow down daw yung processing kasi um, operator siya. So, nag-slow down daw yung processing and at the same time, hindi nila na-meet yung certain quantity. Um, and of course, with a given quality. So, yun yung sinagot niya sa akin. So, I help him out to make the answer more specific. So, sabi ko, ito na experience mo. So, ito na yung nangyari, ito na yung failure, so what did you do? Sabi niya, uh, made sure daw na susundin niya yung mga sinasabi ng supervisor niya kasi yun yung hinihingi sa kanila. Okay, that's an acceptable answer, but make it more specific. So, sabi ko, bigay mo yung specific actions. Tinanong ko siya, sabi ko, um, did you render an OT? Uh, sa tingin mo, nakingi ka ng, ng tulong sa mga kasamahan mo dun sa trabaho uh, para ma-meet ma, ma yung number of quantity na hinihingi on that specific um, day. So, yun yung mga, yung mga kailangan na specific action, guys. So, from that particular hint na, or tips na binigay ko sa kanya, nagkaroon siya na idea. Ah, uh, yes, um, I've rendered OT, uh, three hours, tapos nakingi rin ako ng tulong sa mga kasamahan ko. And at the same time, nanghingi rin ako ng approval, of course, sa supervisor kasi mag-render mag kami ng OT para ma-meet namin yung expectations. So, that is specific actions. So, ano yung end result? Um, sabi niya, eto ulit yung sagot niya, um, naka, nabigay naman namin yung quantity na kailangan, na-deliver namin yung hinihingi sa amin. So, yun yung result na binigay niya. Again, guys, hindi yun mali. Pero make it more specific. Sabi ko, this is just my example. Kasi hindi ko naman alam kung ano talaga yung nangyari. Pero based on what you have said, eto sasabihin ko ha. So, since nakapag-render na sila ng OT, nakihingi siya ng tulong sa mga kasamahan niya sa trabaho to render an OT, nakakuha siya ng approval from the supervisor to render OT, what happened was, eto na yung end result. 
we have successfully produced um, 20% more than the product, uh, more than the quantity na hinihingi sa amin. Which is positive. Kung ang hinihingi sa kanila, let's say, or as an example, eh, nasa 1,000 pieces of that particular product, nakapag-produce sila ng 20% more than that particular amount of quantity being asked. So, di ba, mas positive? And at the same time, yung iba mga kasamahan niya, since nag-render ng OT, nagkaroon sila na additional income. Pagka parang win-win situation, nagkaroon ng additional um, income yung mga kasamahan niya, and at the same time, na-produce nila yung quantity more than what is expected from them. And of course, with an excellent quality. So, Yun yung binigay ko sa kanya example for the end results. So guys, as as you have noticed, lahat ng binigay ko na example, from experience, it is specific. From the actions, it is specific. As well as the results. So, hindi mo kailangang i-memorize. Isipin mo lang maigi yung structure na ear, which is once again, experience, actions, results. And results, should be positive. So guys, ipapakita ko sa inyo ngayon kung ano yung exact answer na binigay ko dito sa tao na nanghingi ng tulong on how to answer this question. And um, this particular um, example answer includes everything. Nandito yung buong structure ng ear. Experience, actions, and results. And there you have it. Ayan, para yan sa mga tao na gustong-gustong makita yung detalyadong sagot using that structure na ear. Nakita nyo naman kung gano'n ka-specific, ka measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. ba? Yung mga sinabi natin sa sagot na yan. And of course guys, um, we would like to hear your comments. Whatever your questions would be, is just um, give all of those comments below. We really appreciate that and at the same time, do not hesitate or remember to fill out the form below if you have any other questions na gusto nyo sagutin namin. Okay? And of course guys, before we end this video, we will leave you with five important things. And number one, always be prepared. Lagi namin sinasabi yan sa iba't ibang video na ina-upload namin, lagi namin kayo nire-remind na always be prepared. Bakit? Kasi may, meron ako nakausap na isang interviewer or isang HR, na this is a common mistake of an interview we usually commit. Um, nakakalimutan kasi nila, or should I say, hindi nila na-research na yung company na pag a nila. So, you have to be prepared about that. And at the same time, kailangan alamin mo, ano ba yung job description or roles and responsibilities yung trabaho ina apply So, make sure that you prepare. Alright? Number two, always be confident. Diniscuss rin natin guys kung paano kayo magiging confident. Kung paano mo mawala yung mga kabakaba na nararamdaman nyo yung daga sa tindig kumbaga. So, pwede nyo panoorin yung video na yan. Nandiyan yung link at nilagay rin namin sa baba. And of course, number three, follow this simple structure. Ear. Paulit-ulit ako. Experience, actions, result. Just follow and memorize it. Okay? And number four, always practice. Practice lang ng practice, guys. Hindi mo kailangan i-memorize yung sagot mo. I-memorize mo yung structure but not your answer. Kasi kapag ka alam mo kung paano gagamitin yung structure, mas madali ka na makakasagot sa kahit anong behavior and interview questions. Believe me. And number five, always pray. Always ask guidance from the Lord. Napaka-importante nun. And syempre, guys, naniniwala kami na kayang-kaya mo ipasa yung interview na yan, kayang-kaya mong makuha yung trabaho na yan. Pero ang tanong, naniniwala ka pa sa sarili mo. You have probably a lot of knowledge and learning na nag-gain sa, pag, sa kapapanood ng mga ganitong klase ng video and different tutorials. But at the end of the day, guys, you should have that faith. 
and always believe in yourself. If you enjoy watching this video, like and share, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're going to be notified for our future videos. Once again guys, this is Nosy Rosie. Have a great day and God bless!